How's it? And welcome to Monday. It, um, it's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous day in Cape Town. Um, what's the thing with Cape Town winters, eh? They are just spectacular. Um, except for when it's like pouring with rain and um, like things are blowing away. But the rest of the time, it's just absolutely gorgeous. Like it really is. Um, today, there are a couple of things on the go. Um, I'm getting new t-shirts. I'm kind of kind of excited to show them to you um, and then um, what else oh yes car swap <laughs> so the Vidara goes home today and then we are getting a I believe a Mitsubishi ASX um, first time in the ASX so kind of looking forward to that and um, I'll give you guys kind of a like crash course as I explore the car um, I also have a couple of meetings so that's gonna happen and um, I think I think that's about it some of the meetings are in-person meetings and some of the meetings are video call meetings so um, that pretty much sums up my day I also need a ton of b-roll for this Vitara so like last night I got um, a whole bunch of time lapses for reference go back and watch the previous video um, I left home at about 4 30 and I got home at about 8 30 literally the process of like driving stopping setting up shooting a time lapse which takes about 10 minutes packing up moving setting up shooting that uh to get four or five time lapses out of that it takes four hours um so it's like it's quite a quite a sort of labor intensive process trying to get trying to get pictures um so i didn't have a chance to get b-roll last night it was freezing cold um, this morning's not like terribly warm either. It says 12 degrees, but the sun's warm. So that's why we're in the t-shirt. Um, but yeah, I need a bunch of b-roll and a bunch of pictures of this car before um, before I hand it back. And then we're getting the ASX and I might actually just right there and then shoot all the b-roll and the pictures I can because then the car's clean as well. Um, so that's the plan today. Okay, we're in the ASX. Start button is on the left. 
get some auto first let's get out of here I have a few more places I need to stop reverse angle camera that's pretty cool this is a lot bigger than the Vitara this is one of the things with swapping cars you kind of completely disorientated now it's like completely different um, but I quite like Mitsubishi's I've always liked Mitsubishi's there's an off-road car I think this is going to require some off-road travel use the indicators on the same side as this that's less confusing. Check the specs later. Oh, the screen looks good. Acceleration feels nice. It's quite a comfortable car. I think I'm going to have a good week with this car. Steering is a little on the dumb side. But it's an off-road car, not a let's go fast car. So. Okay, fiber cable collected. Um, it's just a drop cable for a job later this week. Also discovered that this ASX has a kick-ass panoramic sunroof. So, um, pretty cool. It doesn't open, it just looks like it's just a, technically a sunroof. I'm sure there's a name for a moonroof. Oh, no, some crap like that. Um, it's a really big piece of glass in the roof. It's quite nice, actually. It makes the car feel very airy, lighty, lighty. I don't even like the word. So I need to pop in, so that's one of the two things I need to do, well three, the other one was my mask over here. Um, I stopped and got coffee, got fiber cable, and now I'm stopping for some apparel that I'm going to show you. Cars.coza have a sort of sub-brand called Sentimental and uh, it's really like a focus on South African classic cars. They make really cool t-shirts and I decided to get a couple of them. BMW 3 Series, Opel Superboss and a limited edition Bootboss shirt. So um, I needed t-shirts, figured like car shirts are into cars man, like go buy yourself car t-shirts. So I'm like really stoked, you can expect to see those, like me wearing those and lots of videos coming up soon um, but for now we have some more meetings we need to get to so it's time to get home in the ASX which is actually a ridiculously comfortable drive oh and it does have it does have carplay it's kind of cool that just about but not when I'm trying to talk to the camera it's it's kind of cool that um, just about every car you get today has CarPlay built into it. I think CarPlay and Android Auto are just the two most magnificent features you can add to your car. It just makes life easier and simpler. Thank you. Makes life easier and simpler and just... You know what it is about the CarPlay thing that I really like? Is it's the same interface regardless of the car you're in. You get into a car, you plug your phone in, and it's like your stuff right there just it makes so much sense. You've got Google Maps, Apple Maps, it's all built in there. Spotify, Apple Music, um, Audible, like all that stuff is just there. It just, it's like all the same in the car every time. 